My name is Vito Scaletta. I was born in Sicily in 1925. That little guy's me. I'm standing there with my parents and my sister Francesca in front of our old house. I don't really remember too much about the old country, except that we were pretty hard up. And then one day my father decided it was time to move away. Away from Sicily, across the ocean, to start a new life in America. Never in my life had I seen anything as fantastic as Empire Bay. It was beautiful. On the other hand, I'd never seen anything filthier, more disgusting than our new shithole of an apartment. The American Dream. It was more like a nightmare. My father started working at the port for the guy who arranged our immigration. It was backbreaking work, and what little money he made mostly went towards booze. Eventually, my parents sent me to school. I had to learn English. I sure as hell wasn't going to do that in a neighborhood full of Italians. That's where I met Joe. Come on, Vito, hurry it up. We ain't got all night. Over time, Joe and I got to be best friends. And since we were both poor and there wasn't much work around, <sighs> oh shit, we started a little business of our own. Freeze! Police! Stop! Vito, this way! Throw me to bed! Stop! I'm gonna shoot! Shit. Okay, you bastard. Spread your legs Fuck. and put your hands on the fence. I'm sorry, Vito. Well, that one time it didn't work out so good. The year was 1943. America was at war. And the army was looking for guys who spoke the language to help with the invasion of Sicily. I was 18. And anything seemed better than jail. Who says you can't go home again? Operation Husky. I was assigned to the 504th Parachute Infantry. On the 11th of July, we were supposed to be dropped over the southern coast of Sicily. But we got hit by flak and had to bail out. Shh. Way behind enemy lines. Only three of us made it. If it wasn't for the local resistance, we wouldn't have had a chance. So when Mussolini's soldiers came into the town and started rounding everybody up, we decided to return a favor. Se nessuno parla, quest'uomo morirà. All right, Scaletta. Allora, Take the shot. Ammazziamo le tutte! They're falling back! Let's move! On me! Shit! A dead! A dead! Shit! Ah! Oh! Ah! Ah! Gesù! Ammazziamo! Let's go to prigioneri per macarre va l'esercito! Corporal! This guy's oh, saying his more troops headed this way! Alright! You and Williams take out that MG, then find the prisoners! We're gonna need every man we can get! Ammadue! Ain't getting through this way. Looks like we found the machine! You got a grenade! Watch it! Put a grenade through the window! Whoa! Fuck! Let's 
Galetta, you alive? Yeah, just about. Well, then get off your ass and let's move. Grab all the ammo you can carry. This might be our last chance. Whoa! Look at this shit. On the stairs! Hey, greaseball! <coughs> Catch! No offense, Galetta. Sei finito, idiota! Must have the prisoners upstairs. Clear the second floor. Skeleta, get behind you. Uh. Mori, fatoso. Uh. Got him. Arrenditi, o gli faccio saltare. Shit. Looks like we're going this way. Come on, then. Hey, hey man, man, shit! Hey, hey, these fuckers are there! Give us a fuck, just keep shooting! What in the hell you does it look like I'm doing? Hey, more shooting, less talking. Hey, fine by me, you. asshole. Shit, this balcony isn't gonna work. We gotta keep moving. Let's get inside. Party. Get inside. I'm driving out there. I'm driving out there. I'm driving out there. I'm driving out there. More of them. Down by the church. Take out that truck! Veneta! More of them! Down by the church! Oh shit! They got artillery! Get inside! Now! Take off! Fight! Dicevo al mio amico di stare attento. Fregatene di fare attenzione, fai ciò che ti è stato detto! Non sparate, becciotti! Ma che diavolo sta dicendo? Chi si crede di essere? Un'offerta da fare! Ma è più davvero Don Calò! Quello è finito! Cacetto! Un congè quando siamo arretati come cucina. Ma chi è quello? Lo conoscete? No, amici, no. Eh, lo conoscono tutti. Don Calò è un uomo d'onore. È uno stupido trucco degli americani, non ditemi che gli credete. No, è davvero Don Calò. Ogni tanto dovessi ascoltare i consigli di noiazzi del posto. Ci arrendiamo. Sapete che potete fedarvi di me. Che ne dite, eh? Don Calò, the head of the Sicilian mob. An entire garrison of troops surrendered that day. Why? Because he told them to. A few years later, the Nazis put a bullet in me. I was in the hospital for a bit, and then I got a month's leave so I could go home. At least for a little while. Vito! Over here! 
Joe! Hey, welcome home, buddy. How'd you know? I got my sources. Come on, let's take a ride. Nice car. Comes with the territory. I know you're itching to get home, but first, let's get a beer. Yeah, sure. There it is. Empire Bay. Tell the truth, you miss it? Hey, there's a bear shit in the woods. Not like this place ever done me any favors, but anything's better than a foxhole. What's with this shitty weather? They're saying this is the coldest winter on record. Papers say it's gonna keep up like this for weeks. Don't worry, though. A drink will warm you right up. How long's it been since we had a drink together, Vito? Two years? <laughs> Almost three. Tony Sicelli's party, right? Come on, Vito. Come on. The last drink we had together was right after your romance funeral. Right before you shipped out. You remember. Ah, uh, five minutes. We're already talking about my deadbeat father. Can we change the subject, please? So tell me, pal. What was it like over there, anyway? I kept reading the papers to see what was going on, and you know how much I hate reading. Yeah, I know. You guys kicked Mussolini's ass, right? Uh, sort of. We had a little help from a guy named Don Calo. No shit. Don Calo. I heard of him. Really? You bet. I know guys like him over here. Wise guys. You work for them, you set. You fuck with them, you die. Nice to see you've been busy. Yeah, and I heard you got a medal, right? from old man Patton himself. Whoa, so you're a real war hero, huh? <laughs> and then what? You screwed a couple of Sicilian broads and came home? Yeah, right. <laughs> the old country. Over here, you can screw anything with a heartbeat. No one gives a shit. What a country. Here's to the US of A and to having you back home. Salud. Ah, salud. Chin down. So how come you're back? They let you out early for good behavior? Nah, I took a bullet a couple months back, spent some time in the hospital, and now I'm on leave. Wait, wait, wait. You mean you gotta go back? <laughs> What'd you think? The war ain't over yet. You don't wanna go back, do you? Nah, of course not, but what can I do? One minute. Here we are. All right, thanks. Keep the change. But the fire is so delightful. And since we've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Vito! He's not here. Let him go! Yeah, we'll be right back. Chimney! The lights are turned away. Of course there are. Let it snow. Let it snow. Let it snow.
Hi, Mama. I'm back. Vito. Vito, my boy. <laughs> my boy is home. I thought I'd never see you again. <laughs> Francesca and me, we wait. Hey, sis, what's going and on? We wait for you. Oh. Yeah. So oh. Sit down, Finally sit down. Home. You must be hungry, Vito. Francesca made you a special dinner. Zuppa di pollo. It's good for you. Wow, looks good, Frankie. It's a shame your papa didn't live to see this. He would be so proud, Vito. Yeah, sure. Vito, you know better. Sorry, Mama, sorry. Benedice, signore, la manciara è portata a volontà. Siamo ricevendo, provvedi nel foro cucino di noi. Per Cristo nostro, signore. Amen. You should get some sleep. Your room is just like you left it. <sighs> so how you two been? Franny, what have you been up to? I still live here with Mama. I got a nice office job. It pays the bills, and I started paying off some of Papa's debts. Francesca, we don't want to talk about that now. So, uh, you got a boyfriend yet? Not yet. What's the hurry? The boys in the neighborhood these days are not so good. She'll meet the right man one day. How are you, mio bambino? It must have been so terrible. I was so afraid. I prayed for you every day. I'm okay, Ma. I drove a jeep most of the time. Sometimes I had a fight. I'll see you two in the morning. Sleep well, mio bambino. This ain't gonna cut it. I gotta find a place to stay. So you have to go back soon? Actually, uh, looks like I won't. Uh, Joe's taking care of it for me. Joe! You want to get into trouble again? Mama, would you rather me go back and get shot again? No. Exactly. No. Joe probably saved my life. Promise that you won't get in any more trouble with that, Joe. You know, your papa used to work for this man at the waterfront named Papa Lardo. He's in the union. You could talk to him, work hard like you were your pup. Talk to him. Please, promise me you go talk to him today. Okay, Mama, okay, I promise. Grazie, Dio. I don't I'm give a sorry. damn. I don't we'll care if you gotta money. sell everything hey, I you got. What the hell's going on here? Vito! You mind your business, no. asshole. Oh, yeah? Yeah? Arr! Come on, Junior. I'm gonna take you to school. Oh, tough guy. Scaring a woman, huh? Come on. Show me what you got. Vito, please. You're making it even worse. Oh. Yeah, that's right. Get the fuck out of here. You're gonna be sorry. The both of you. What the hell was that all about? I'm sorry, Vito. We didn't want to bother you with this. Bother me? Bother me with what? 
Come on, tell me what's going on here, Frankie. Right before he died, Papa borrowed money. A lot of money from a loan shark. Thinking he'd get a better job and pay him back. We found out right after you left for the war. How much? Two thousand dollars. What? Shit. The worst thing is, this guy wants it all back by the end of this week. Otherwise, the debt goes up again. <sighs> I ain't gonna make that kind of money working at the port. Who is this guy? I don't know. Mama won't tell me. It's okay, Vito. We'll manage somehow. Don't worry. I'll take care of this. I promise. Thanks, Vito. Take care of yourself. <sighs> I gotta get my hands on two grand fast. I bet Joe could help me out. Is it fixed yet? It's the same as when you asked me ten seconds ago. <sighs> For crying out loud. What the hell's the matter with you now? It's taken you forever and I'm cold. So sit in the damn car if you're cold. It's cold in the car, too. Hurry up and fix this piece of junk. It'd get done a hell of a lot quicker if you quit nagging me and give me a hand. I am not nagging you. Yeah, uh-huh. Well, if you were as good with a wrench as you were with your mouth, we could have this damn thing fixed already. Ugh, you are so useless. It's no wonder the army wouldn't take you. Ugh, you had to bring that up again, didn't you? Ethel's husband, Frank, he's a fighter pilot. Margaret's husband, Charlie, he drives a submarine. I'm warning you. My husband? Oh, he's a 4F. He works at the grocery store. You know what? Fix it yourself, then, you lousy bitch! Hey, need a hand? <sighs> sure do. Hope you're better at this thing than my good-for-nothing husband. Here we go. All done. I just needed to, uh, screw a couple things in. Really? Well, <laughs> thank you very much, handsome. Don't mention it. Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, uh, do you know where Joe Barbro lives? To the right of the stairs. And tell him that racket last night has to stop. If he don't like it, he can find another place to live. Getting out at all. Come on in, let's talk. Uh, 
You disgusting pig. I picked up these broads on my way back from the store. I've been waiting for you. All right, girls, that's it for now. I got business. Stop by tomorrow, okay? We'll pick up where we left off. Chop, chop. Come on, Joey. Why do we have to stop when we can all have fun? The fun's over, baby. Later, I said. Me and Vito here haven't seen each other for a long time. We got a lot of catching up to do. Looks like you're doing okay, Joey boy. Not bad. I tell you, that little Spanish broad is fucking wild. So how'd it go at home? Good. Mama wasn't thrilled when I mentioned your name, though. Now, you know how she is. She wants me to get a straight job. You gonna look for one? I don't know, but I sure as hell ain't gonna make the same mistake my old man did. I gotta pay off his debts, then get back on my feet and get my own place. I need to make some real money, and punching the clock ain't gonna cut it. Hey, you can stay with me as long as you need to, and we'll find you a job where you can make good money without killing yourself, all right? Music to my ears. Right now, I'm living off the 20 bucks the state gives me every week. <laughs> I know lots of people who pay well for a risky job, so to speak. I'm sure I can line something up for my oldest friend. The working man's a sucker, that's for damn sure. You said it. Okay, step one. I gotta introduce you to Giuseppe so we can pick up them discharge papers. Let's go. You made enough cash for all this in the last three years? More like the last three months. I barely had time to furnish the place. Three months? Holy shit. You just gotta know the right people, and you're all set. Cause you know me. So you thought about what you're gonna do now? You said you were gonna introduce me to that guy Giuseppe. No, 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 no. I meant, you know, the big picture. When you was over there, didn't you think about what you was gonna do when you got back? No, not really. Well, besides the usual, you know. Find a nice girl, settle down. Whoa. Hey, there's gonna be plenty of time for that shit later. Right now, I'm gonna make sure you live a little. Hey, uh... Thanks again for that thing with the discharge papers. Hey, all I did was make a phone call. You can thank Giuseppe when we go pick him up. Hey, uh, you think I could, uh... What? Drive, Vito? The roads are icy. You ain't never drove a car before. Joe, I was driving almost the whole time I was over there. Yeah, but this ain't no tank, Vito. This is one of the nicest cars money can buy. I didn't drive a tank. I drove a Jeep. What the hell's a Jeep? It's, uh... Never mind. It, you gonna let me drive or what? All right, all right. Here's the keys. Just be fucking careful. All right, when it's cold as fuck outside, you gotta give it a little more gas than usual. That's the pedal over there on the right. I know, Joe, I know. Okay, now make a right here. Then just go straight for a while. Hey, whoa, 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 slow it down a bit. No need to get pulled over for no reason. Hey, Vito, you know what time it is? It's daytime. How the fuck should I know? It's time for you to get your own fucking car. Yeah, I'd love to if I could afford one. Who says you're gonna pay for it? You know, you wasn't kidding. They really taught you to drive over there. At least something good come out of it. Ooh, get a load of that baby. Nice, that's a 42 Jefferson. Beautiful car like that, it'd be a shame to smash the window. You should grab yourself some lockpicks over at Giuseppe's. Welcome to Giuseppe's General Store, a thief's paradise. You name it, he's got it. He even sells phony gun permits and discharge papers for guys tired of getting their asses shot off. Hey, Giuseppe, I brought Hello, you a Joe. new customer. He's uh, straight up, right? Yes, sir, all the way. This here's Vito, my oldest friend. This is Giuseppe, the best safe cracker uh, in Empire Bay. Retire, please. How are you? The paper's for you. 
Yeah, they are. You got them finished already? It was a pain in the ass, but sure, they're done. Well, thanks. This really gonna work? Nobody from the army would bother you again, trust me. You see? What'd I tell you? Here's the money. Take your papers, Vito. Uh, we need a set of lockpicks, too. That we do. And guess who's paying for them? Grazie. Well, you can test it right now. Here, take this lock. You just need to insert the pick into the lock and lift all the pins. You use the wrench to hold the pins one by one. When all of the pins are set, just turn the wrench and the lock, she opens. Easy. Ah, oh, damn it. See you around, Giuseppe, said Benarig. Easy, huh? Don't worry, you'll get the hang of it. I do it all the time when I lock my keys in the car. Okay, you still feel like snagging that car? You kidding me? Absolutely. Well, here's your chance. Looks like we lost them. So how do you like the car? Not too bad. I think I'll keep it. All right, let's go find ourselves a body shop. They provide the kind of services we're looking for. Hey, that don't sound cheap. Don't worry about it. I got it covered. Just find any body shop. I know the guy who runs it. Park right here in front of the garage door. How's it going? What can I do you for, pal? New license plate. <laughs> for you? Nope, there you go. Gave her a couple of tweaks. You can paint it any color you like. Take your pick. Thanks a lot. All right, next you should introduce yourself to Some Mike Booski. He'll probably have some work for you. All right, where is he? Builds a junkyard over in Riverside. You can't miss it. Hey, who's that guy back there? What guy? The guy at the body shop. Oh, Tommy. He's my buddy's nephew. He's kind of quiet, but let me tell you, the kid's some hell of a dancer. Saw him at the old dance hall in Easter Bay a couple of weeks ago. 
He had all the broads going nuts. Do I detect a hint of, uh, jealousy? Are you kidding? I don't need no dance moves. I got charm, my friend. Here, I'll give you some of my lines, so maybe you won't have to spend so many nights with Rosie Palm and her five sisters. Hey, here's one. Hey, is that a mirror in your pocket? Because I can see myself in your pants. <laughs> Here, I got another one. If I could rearrange the alphabet, I'd put you and I together. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, this one never fails. Hey, baby, that's a nice outfit. It look good crumpled up at the foot of my bed in the morning. And this works for you. Oh, here, here's a good one. Hey, do you know the difference between sex and conversation? No? You want to go back to my place and talk? You got problems, you know that? How about this one? Why don't we go back to my place and play house? You be the door and I'll slam you. Oh, that was bad. Hey, when you measure seven soft, you don't have to be good with words. You get my drift? That's Mike's junkyard, there. Just drive through the gate. Hey, look who's hey, here. Hey, Mikey boy, what's going on? Shit, Mike, you can wash your fucking hands once in a while. Now I need a fucking bed. Hey, I've been working. Working people occasionally get dirty, you know? Besides, I just wiped them off. What? what? The same fucking rag you used to clean the toilet, you filthy fuck? Put a lid on it. What, what are you, from the health department, or you want to do some business? <laughs> business, of course. This here's my friend Vito. Vito, this is Mike Bruschi. But don't shake his hand. I ain't got that much soap at home. Nice to meet you, Vito. Uh, me and Vito go way back. He just come back from overseas and he needs some cash. So I figure he can help with your, uh, supply problem. I can vouch for him. Uh-huh. Okay. Joe told you about our side business, right? Yeah. I only want regular cars, nothing fancy. You get a cut of every car. I take as many as I can handle. And don't bring no cops around, okay? They follow you here. I don't know your ass from Jesus. You get me? Got it. God damn it, Mike! You put your grubby mitts on my fucking coat. I paid a fortune for this thing. All right, calm down or I'll stick them up your ass, you sissy. You know, dry cleaning costs Jesus these days. Jesus Christ. Plenty, and who knows if they can even get this filth out. You shut out. up. Vader, listen to me. I need a Walter Coupe today. I got a few people looking for parts, but I can't find a car. Because you don't know where to look. Every time I drive down Hunters, I see one parked by a bar there. I think the place is called the Lone Star. Isn't that a Moulinian neighborhood? I'll stick out like a sore thumb. All right, look, I'll give you 350 bucks for it. It's worth the risk, right? 400. <laughs> All right, deal. Ah, Vito, come on, let's go, andiamo. Meantime, I'll be sending you the cleaning bill for my coat. Yeah, I'll change my address, you rat prick. Okay, listen up. This is your maiden voyage, so to speak. So try not to fuck it up, eh? Here, Vito, take this, just in case. Hey, nice. Hey, Mike, you mind if I test this thing out here? Sure. Knock yourself out. Here you go. Aim for that old wreck over there. Hey, hey Vito, oh, yeah, see if you can hit the me. gas tank. Fuck you. All right, that's enough shooting. We got work to do. All right, go out the way we came in and get on the main highway going west. Don't go back through the city.
Go right up here. So how's it feel to be back? Good. I feel a lot better with some money in my pocket. Hey, what's the rush? Money don't buy you happiness, you know. Get the fuck out of here. I was just fucking with you. Don't worry about the money. This little job is just the beginning. Pretty soon you'll be rolling in it. So, Sand Island's still the same shithole it was when I left? No, no, the place actually ain't too bad now. Oh shit. How the hell that happened? All the moolies flew south for the winter. Of course it's still a shithole, Vito. You only been gone a couple of years. Gonna take a lot longer than that for that neighborhood to turn around. Then people multiply like rabbits. What are you gonna do? It's even worse than when we was kids. They even got some kind of gang there now. What's their fucking name? Uh, the Beamers, the Boomers, something like that. I don't fucking know. Oh, that's just fucking great. Hey, what are you worried about? They're animals. All they do is sell dope and kill each other. They ain't gonna bother a guy like you. And even if they do, that's why I gave you that pistol. Oh, by the way, you're carrying a gun now? What's the deal with that? Can't do business without it these days. Especially in this fucking neighborhood. You, uh, really know how to inspire confidence, you know that? Take a left up here. Wow, I forgot how nice this neighborhood was. You know something? One of these days, I'm gonna buy a house here. Look at this guy. Ain't even back a day and he's too good for his old neighborhood. Hey, what are you breaking my balls for? I'm just window shopping. It'll be years before I could afford a place like this. <laughs> you got champagne tastes and beer pockets, my friend. Don't worry, though. I'm gonna help you change that. It's that cream-colored baby over there. Be careful. Do it quick and get the fuck out of there. Break a window if you have to and go. I'll wait for you back at Mike's. Hey, what if I run into problems? Then you deal with them. Look, consider this a test. If you fail, I hear they're hiring down at the factory. Right, just asking. Good luck, pal. I see you back at Mike's. What's your poison, Jack? That gonna be it? Hey, what the fuck are you doing over there? <laughs> you ain't ah, so bad. Shit. What you doing, motherfucker?
Who taught you to drive? In pursuit of a speeding vehicle. Roger that. Hey, mission accomplished. How'd it go? Yeah, piece of cake. Except for the fact that the car belonged to a bunch of moolies who immediately tried to kill me right after you left. Ah, uh, probably the bombers. Hunters their neighborhood. Guys like that, you don't have to worry about them. They just hang out on the street, talk shit, steal shit, and smoke dope. <sighs> Let's see what we got here. Oh, nice. No stains. Clean. Where'd the lowlife get the money for this? Probably stole it himself. It's nice, though. How much did I say I'd give you for it again? Six hundred. <laughs> oh, I like you, buddy, Joe. Here's your four hundred bucks. Stop by again, okay? We can do some more business. Yeah, you bet, Mike. I see you, Mike. I'll stop by again real soon. All Me right, too. boys. I'll see you later. Here's your three hundred bananas. I'm taking my cut as the middleman. Next time, you're on your own. All right. Thanks, Joe. All right, let's go home. I'm exhausted. We should take the highway, Vito. All right, you pulled off that job without fucking it up. Nice going. Yeah, but I almost got my ass kicked. I didn't live through the war just to die in Sand Island. Hey, that's all part of the deal, pal. Take it or leave it. Besides, it ain't like you're qualified for anything else. Eh, I guess you're right. Don't worry about it. It's all gonna be a piece of cake. So, uh, what's the story with Bruski? Mike's a good guy to know. He's a little grouchy, but he's always got a scam going. He deals with stolen cars mostly. Spent some time inside a while back. I heard he used to stick up gas stations back in the day. You gonna make him pay the cleaning bill for your jacket? Nah, I'll let that one slide. I do a lot of business with the guy. Plus, he's got one hell of a temper. One time we was at the track and some mix spilled a beer on his wind ticket. Mike beat the shit out of him till he went blind in one eye. For a lousy ten bucks, who believe that shit? Sounds like kind of a scumbag. Hey, you just gotta know how to handle these people. And Mike's a pussycat compared to some of the guys I've met since you shipped out. You'll see. Hey, is there a safe place to park around here? I don't want to leave this thing out in the street. Yeah, that's why you're parking your car next to mine in the garage. The streets are full of criminals these days. Yeah, the neighborhood ain't what it used to be, huh? If you're hungry, there's some food in the refrigerator. You're hungry, Vito? Take whatever you want from the fridge.
Joe's pleasure, pal. It's Vito speaking. Vito, why didn't you come home last night? I was worried sick. Mama? I didn't know you had Joe's number. And whose phone is this? So have you spoken to Mr. Papalardo? Find yourself a job? Yeah, he told me to come by and see him today. Hopefully he's got some work for me. Okay, Vito. Good luck, mio bambino. All right, bye, Mama. Close the door. It's windy. What do you want? Uh, yeah, I'm looking for a Mr. Papalotto. Oh, yeah? Why? My name is Vito Scaletta. My old man used to work for him, and I'm looking for a job, so I came here. Well, you're in the right spot, sonny boy. Federico Papayato at your service. You can call me Derek. I think I remember your dad. Good guy, but drank like a fish. What's he up to these days? He's dead. Oh, well, we all gotta go sometime. Right, Steve? Sure, Derek. So you need a job, huh? Well, you're in luck. We just got a new shipment unload. Steve will show you around. 
Now scram, my steak's getting cold. Uh, follow me. Load this pile of crates onto that truck. When you're done, you get ten bucks. If something gets lost or broken, you get nothing. Start now and don't take all day. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a lot of fun. Who the fuck wants to move boxes around all goddamn day? Hey, you done? Yeah, I'm done. And you can keep the ten bucks. When I said I needed a job, I didn't mean slave labor. Whatever. Get the fuck out of here, then. Don't show your face around here again. Yeah, don't worry. I can make a hundred times more working for Barbaro Incorporated. Wait, you said Barbaro? Joe Barbaro? Yeah, so what? Shit. Nobody who works with Joe would carry crates for ten bucks. What the hell are you doing? Come with me. What now? Well, this one don't like manual labor. What the fuck? Said he works with Joe Barbaro. Bullshit. Who want to load crates if he works with Joe? You'll have to explain this one to me, sonny boy. What's your story? Uh, well, my mother wanted me to come talk to you about an honest job, but I need some real money, so this ain't gonna cut it. <laughs> Them women, they're all the same. Right, Steve? Sure, Derek. She doesn't want you hanging around with Joe, right? <laughs> My mother was the same way. Look what become of me. Union boss. I got the whole fucking waterfront under my thumb. So how's Joe? Pretty good, I guess. How'd you meet up with him? Oh, we go way back to the old neighborhood. I just come back from overseas and he's putting me up until I can get back on my feet. Listen, uh, you gotta understand, a person in my position has gotta be careful. Certainly. So you won't mind if I give Joe a call, right? Nah, no, go ahead. Now, where'd I put his number? Hey, here it is. He might not be home. That wouldn't be good. Hi, hey, Joe. Hey, this is Derek. Listen, I got this guy here. Uh, what'd you say your name was? Vito. Vito. He's looking for a job. He says he's a friend of yours. A good friend. I just wanted to check with you first. Uh-huh. Sure. War hero and all that shit. All right, all right. Thanks, then. I'll talk to you later. Sorry, pal. I had to check you out. Joe says you just come back from Italy. 
You must be able to handle yourself. You want to make a little more money? I got just the thing. The guys here at the port are supposed to pay a monthly fee to the barber, but half of them never cough it up. I need someone to give them a little nudge. Ten bucks a man. What if they don't need a haircut? Well, then you'll have to convince them otherwise. I see. What if somebody makes a fuss? Then you kick the shit out of them. Well, let's say you teach them a lesson that doesn't require that they miss work. You got it? Which is why Steve ain't doing the job. Right, Steve? Right, boss. Collect at least 150 bucks, I give you 50. Just for walking around, taking it into Sierra, meeting new people. Easy fucking money, eh? What do you say? Yeah, hey, it's better than lugging crates around. All right, then. Get going. I'm here to collect the fee for the barber. And hey, what kind of game you playing here? The kind where you pay what you owe and you don't get hurt. You got a problem with that? I got a problem with you. Now get out of here before I kick your ass. Ugh! Here's your fucking money. Yeah, glad you decided to reconsider. Hey, pal. Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Uh, yeah. I must have forgot or something. Next time, try to pay on time, okay? Thanks. Hey, Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Sure, here it is. I don't want no problems. Don't leave it until the last minute next time. Hey, pal. Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Look, asshole. I'm not in the mood. Why don't you get out of my face before you get hurt? Ah, no can do, pal. Derek wants his money. Derek can kiss my ass. What's that fat fuck gonna do? Have me killed? Hey, you said it, not me. Why don't you give it a try then, asshole? Kill that motherfucker! Kick the shite out of him! Kick his ass! Okay. Anybody else got a fucking problem with paying for the fucking barber? Here's the money, boss man. Good job. Here's your share. I watched you take care of Bill. You were good. Steve damn near got his ass kicked when he tried that. Right, Steve? Yeah, right, Derek. Here's a bonus for sorting him out. Thanks. The guy's been a real fucking pain. Now get out of here, kid. I gotta be getting back to business. Hey, say hello to your mother for me. Tell her you got yourself a job as my new assistant. Yeah, will do. I'll see you later. And Vito, I almost forgot. Joe called. He wants you should meet him at Freddy's.
I think you'll find the quality is well worth the price. Did you feel the lining? That's real silk. Enjoy your... Hey, where the hell you been? I came right over as soon as you called. What's going on? You remember the wise guys we used to see when we was kids? Yeah, why? The guy we're meeting here is one of them. His name's Henry Tomasino. I think he's got something big for us. Yeah, no shit. Yeah. We're done with the small-time jobs. It's time to make some real shuttle. Here, he's coming. Don't say nothing stupid. Hey, Henry, how are you? Hey, Joe. This the guy? Yeah, this is Vito, an old friend of mine. Good to meet you, Henry. You vouch for him? Absolutely, Henry. I trust him with my life. Okay, listen. I got a job for you. The money's good. I need gas stamps. They're worth the fortune now because of the gas shortage. Where can we get them? In the Office of Price Administration. Uh, that's a federal government agency. Isn't that a little risky? What? Too much for you? No, no, no. Just trying to think of how we can pull it off. Ah, it can't be that hard. The stamps are kept in the safe at night, but the keys are probably around here somewhere. You got somebody inside? Yeah, one of our guys. His sister works there. Can she help us out? Ask her yourself. Her name's Maria Agnello. Here's the address. Tell her I say you. All right, what about the safe? What if the keys aren't there? That's your problem. But what's the job pay? I'll give you 600 bucks for 10,000 gallons worth of stamps. Okay, we're in. No, no, I need Vito to do this alone. I got another job for you, Joe. So? What do you say, Biro? Yeah, sure. Hey, and don't forget to take a piece with you. You never know what's gonna happen. Better to be safe than sorry. I gotta be- Wait, wait, wait. This isn't some liquor store stick-up. I want this to be a clean job. If you kill anybody, your cut drops to a third. Gabish? Yeah, I got it. No problem. Okay, when you're done, you come back in, we'll settle up. All right, I'll see Good you. Good luck, Vito. See you later. Yeah, can I help you? Yeah, hello, ma'am. Uh, Henry Tomasino sent me. He said you might be able to help me with a little problem down at the Office of Price Administration. Yeah, I heard about that. What do you need from me? Uh, I need to get in there tonight. All right, tell you what. 
My sister's in the hospital right now. If you give me a lift over there, I'll tell you everything you need to know. It's right across the street from the OPA, so it ain't like you're gonna be going out of your way. Sure, no problem. Okay, let's go. And take it easy behind the wheel, all right? I seen the way you kids drive these days. All right, kid. The place is locked up pretty tight at night, so you gotta get into the back. They keep the back door open at night? No, but the basement window usually is, so that's how you can get in. You're looking for the safe, right? Yeah, how'd you know? Lucky guess. It's on the top floor. So's the director's office. That's where the keys are. Okay. So I go in through a window around the back, then head upstairs to the director's office, right? Right. And be careful, there's guards in there at night. Don't let them see you. All right, kid. Drop me at the hospital right here. The office is across the street. Thanks, Maria. I'll see you. I'm gonna go make the rounds. Good riddance to you. Thank you. 
got any plans for the weekend? Yeah, gonna relax and watch me some television. Well, you bought a television? I sure did. Man, those things cost as much as a car. Mary's Uncle Wolf passed away a few months back after some That's what I did. You ought to see this thing. Seven inch black and white screen gets all three channels. Wow, sounds fascinating. What, you mean you ain't gonna get one? I'll stick with my newspaper and with my radio, thank you very much. This television's just a fad. We'll see about that, sonny boy. Yeah, so what does Mary think of it? She, uh, she ain't seen it yet. This is getting better by the minute. Oh, uh, she's been visiting a mother upstate. Oh, yeah, I see. And, uh, what have you been watching on that fancy television set of yours? Mostly cartoons. They ain't got much on right now, on account of the war. Cartoons? All that money to watch some cartoons. Oh, man. The salesman said when the war's over, they're supposed to start showing ball games on it, too. Yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. But listen. I was watching them cartoons, and they give me an idea. Oh, here we go. Okay, Einstein, let's hear it. Now, uh, listen to this. What if you could control the cartoon? What do you mean? You know, control it. You can make the little guy on the screen do things. You can make him run around, drive a car, maybe even uh, have him shoot a gun, shoot things with it. You've been sniffing glue. How the hell are they gonna do that? Listen, I ain't worked that out yet. Look, you probably have to have some sort of box with buttons on it that controls the guy okay. on the screen. This is the director's office. This is where the key should be. Would make him shoot. One would maybe make him. Oh, uh, yeah, that's your brilliant idea, huh? That's All right, here's the key. Now I gotta get to the safe. Oh, yeah? I'm sure someone will figure it out someday. And you can mark my words on that. Uh huh. Sure, they will. Right after they put a guy on the moon. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, all right. I'm gonna get back to my crosswood puzzle here. Yeah, all right. Don't hurt yourself with that number two pencil.
What would you like? Here's your whiskey. Well, how'd you make out? Piece of cake. They're in for a shock in the morning. That's good. I see Joe knows how to pick his friends. Uh, let's see what we got here. Ah, shit. Something wrong? You bet your ass there's something wrong. These stamps you took have an expiration date, and that date is tomorrow. So, uh, what exactly does that mean? It means they're gonna be fucking worthless. But wait, if you can get them to the gas station attendants by midnight, they'll be able to stamp them and redeem them. You better bring them to every gas station in town. They gotta get there by midnight or we're screwed. If you don't sell them in time, you get nothing. Wait a minute, that wasn't our deal. You didn't say anything about any expiration dates. Well, shit happens, doesn't it? Look, you pull this off, I won't forget it, trust me. Now get going. The faster you unload them, the more money you get. Yeah, so long, buddy. Hey, uh, interested in buying some gas stamps? Sure. Just keep this between you and me, all right? No problem. Just make sure you do the same. Sure. Sounds good to me. Hey, uh, you in the market for some surplus gas stamps? Sure. Where'd you get them? Uh, on second thought, I don't even want to know. Smart man. All right, now fork over the dough. Yeah. Huh? Right. Just hope I don't get in trouble for this. Don't worry about it. Just keep your mouth shut.
Hey, uh, I got some extra gas stamps. You interested? Yeah, yeah, sure, I'm interested. All right, here you go. Fork over the dough. Sure. Sure, sure. Here's your money. Thanks, pal. Now forget you saw me. Listen, I got these extra gas stamps. You want them? They're yours. Cheap. Yeah, all right. I'm good with that. All right, here you go. And keep your mouth shut about this, all right? Shut the... Hey, buddy. It'll be our secret. It better be. Hey, uh, interested in buying some gas stamps? Sure. Just keep this between you and me, all right? No problem. Just make sure you do. Do the same. Sure. Sounds good to me.
Hey, uh, I got some extra gas stamps. You interested? Yeah, yeah, sure, I'm interested. All right, here you go. Fork over the dough. Sure, sure. Here's your money. Thanks, pal. Now forget you saw me. Shit, it's after midnight. Okay, well, I guess that's a bust. I should go back to Joe's. this didn't know joe could even write we got another job something really big stop by freddy's tonight bring a piece and some lock picks Nice to see you. Since when did his fucking come? <laughs> hey, look who's here. The Where the hell you been? Laying around in bed all day? Hey, I'm entitled to a little rest after that last job, don't you think? What can I get you, sir? Coffee. I'll what he owes for now. Just for now. But when Alberto hears about this, the shit is gonna hit the fan. <laughs> <laughs> 
Believe you me. So, uh, I heard you didn't score too big last night. Well, it wasn't exactly my fault. Shit happens. All right, come on, relax, fellas. It's a high-risk business. If you don't like it, you can always go break your back working for peanuts down at the docks. Sorry, Henry, I was just breaking balls, you know. Uh, so how about tonight? We still on for what we Only talked about months? yesterday? We'll see you in a minute. That is too fucking much, too fucking many. I want my money! What? You think I'm running some kind of fucking charity here? Do it. Now! Who was that? Somebody you don't need to know right now. All right, listen up. There's a guy who owes the boss some money. He borrowed it to open some big jewelry store and he's not paying it back fast enough. We're gonna collect his payment tonight. In jewels. Plus, uh, a little extra for our trouble. Joe, fill him in. The jewelry store's in the shopping mall in the middle of town. There's no guards at night. So all we gotta do is pick the lock and waltz right in. Sounds a little too simple. Because it is simple. Why is everything gotta be so fucking complicated yeah. with you? Says the guy who can barely change a light. Look, bulb. don't worry. I thought of everything. I got these phone company uniforms so we can pretend to be fixing something. Fair enough. Let's go. All right. We're gonna rob this fuck blind. All we gotta do is wait until dark. Hey, so how'd it go with the port? What, you mean with Derek? Yeah, hey, he's a piece of work, ain't he? He give you a job? Yeah. I worked some guys over. But it was small time crap. He shakes down these hard up dock workers just like he did my old man. Well, you didn't have to do it. It's not like he forced you to work for him, is it? My mother almost did. Quit whining and keep in touch with Derek. Trust me, he's got better jobs than shaking down wharf rats. What is this, the Indianapolis Speedway? Take it easy, I'm in a rush. Hey, you just went through a red light. What the hell is this? Come on, boys. The cops will be here any minute. Move it! Brian fucking O'Neill? What the fuck is this? You crazy bastard, what the fuck are you doing? Barbaro, what the hell are you doing here, you fuck? <laughs> You're a little late, Chief. There's nothing left here fuck for you. Fuck off, fatso. This is our heist. You want to get out of here in one piece, you'd better yeah, hand yeah, over everything yeah. you've well, got. Well, the sign outside didn't say Brian O'Neill's place. If it did, I wouldn't have robbed it. Instead, I would have set it on fire. 10 reported at the West Side Mall. Repeat, 10:31. Burglary this in progress. This is car 54. We're on it. And I suggest you get lost before the cops show up. Ah, fuck! Kiss Let's my get ass. Get the fuck out of here. Ugh. Gotta get the fuck out of here. What the hell are you waiting for? Get him, lads! Brian, what about the cops? Come on, let's cops. get out of here! Get the cops I'm trying! Shit, cops! You're only making it worse for yourself. I 
Watch my ass while I open this door. Keep those assholes off my back. Almost got it. Hold them off just a little longer. Come on, you piece of shit. Open up. Okay, got it. We're out of here. Vito, come on. Freeze! Police! We gotta find another no way, way out! out. Another dead end. <laughs> we gotta go this way, it's our only shot. Come on, Vito, move your ass. What are you fucking crazy? It's covered in ice. One slip and we're dead. We have no Police. choice. I ain't going to the joint. Come on! Get your ass over here. You waiting for a formal fucking invitation? Over there! Shoot! Shit. Jesus, be careful. Almost lost you there. Yeah, I think I just shit myself. Where'd they go? They must have gone this way, Sarge. Oh, fuck that. I don't get paid enough for this. This way. This should take us to the street. Shit, cops. Freeze! Police! There's no way out! Almost got it. Hold him off just a little longer. Okay, got it. We're out of here. Vito, come on. Henry's never gonna believe this. <laughs> Stupid bastards. Let's go. Fuck off, copper. I didn't do nothing! <laughs> 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 oh, look at the Irish my ass! <laughs> Who the hell was that? Brian O'Neill. Crazy Mick bastard. Not too bright. Usually works his hired muscle. <sighs> yeah, I didn't think he was the brains of the operation. Shit, the cops! Come on, get out of the light! Let's go! Come on, come on, come on! Don't Shit. worry. Give me a bag. I'll go ditch the goods. Alright, pal. Meet you back home. Try not to get pinched on the way there. Suspect is about six feet tall, dark hair, medium build. Run! Copy that.
Good evening. How can I help you? No license plate. <laughs> For you, no problem. There you go. Gave her a couple of tweaks. Bring it by any time. Hey there, handsome. Uh... Hi there. Joe ain't here right now. He said for you to meet him for lunch at Freddy's. I see. Too bad you were passed out when I came in. We could have partied. Hmm. Maybe next time, doll. Bye. Huh. That was something. Stupid broad! But Get the I... hell back here! If you can't drive, you should stay home where you belong! Hey, isn't that Joe's girl over there? Well, one of them anyway. You smacked up my car, I'm gonna smack up yours! Look at my fucking car! Hey, pal. Knock it off. And who the fuck are you? Somebody who doesn't like hearing you talk to a lady like that. So why don't you shut the fuck up? And leave while I'm still in a good mood, huh? What, is she your girlfriend or something? Well, if she's not gonna pay for it, you will. One more word, and you're gonna need a new set of teeth. Now get the uh, fuck out of I... here. That was the word. Thanks, handsome. I owe you one. Do you want to come over to my place for a piece of pie? Yeah, thanks, but uh, oh, look, I, I, I really gotta get going. Mmm, you'll like it, I promise. 
I gotta get going now. I'll see you around. Hey, fellas. Hey! Hey, Vito, this is Luca Garino. Take He'd like to talk to you and Joe. Luca, this is Vito. Good to meet you, Mr. Garino. No need to be so formal. Call me Luca. Take a seat, Vito. What can I get you? Same thing I'm having. And hurry it up. I heard about your running with the mix. <laughs> Great fucking story. <laughs> and I want to congratulate you, too, on a job well done. Salute. A salute. You guys did a hell of a job. Not too many guys got the stomach for this line of work. So now, uh... I'm wondering if yous are ready to take the next step. Yeah, sure, uh... What next step? I'm talking about taking somebody out. Just cause someone points his finger at him and tells you to do it. I was in the war, Mr. Garino. All I did was kill people I was told to kill. People the president pointed his finger at. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. The president. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> but you're, uh, you're talking about the crowds, right? You know, the bad guys. That's not what I mean. Understand? Yeah, I understand. Good. We need guys like you. Guys who can follow orders without asking questions. You handle this next job like you handled the last one, and there's a good chance you'll be accepted into the family. After you pay the initiation fee, of course. And how much is that? Five grand apiece. That's a fucking fortune! Hey, nobody said it was cheap, huh? But trust me, the benefits far outweigh the cost. I'll leave it up to you two to decide. Henry's gonna fill you in on the rest. I'll see his guys there later. There you are. Hey, you boss. You take care of that thing we talked about yet? Yeah, yeah, it's all under control. That's Henry's what you said the last time. Don't disappoint me again. Boss, don't. I, I, uh... Now come with me. We got some other business to discuss. So, Henry, what kind of job we talking about here? I gotta take a guy out. It's my contract, but Thanks. I need some help. That's where you two come in. Who's the lucky guy? Some fat fuck from across the river. The guy's been warned, but he thinks he's untouchable. Huh. And is he? Well... Somebody tried to take him out once before. And? Let's just say they slightly underestimated him. How much is slightly? Fatally. That's a fancy way of saying they're dead, right? Hey, they fucked up. We won't. I rented an apartment across the street from his business. We'll sit there, and we'll wait till that fat fuck shows up, and then BOOM! We blast his ass. How are we gonna do that? With an MG-42. Uh... Where are we getting an MG-42 from? Harry. Yeah. He's a vet, like you. He's got a private little gun shop over in Kingston. You can get your anything from a pea shooter to a bazooka. And you don't need no fucking gun license, neither. Okay, Joe and me will go to the apartment. You go pick up the machine gun at Harry's shop in Kingston. It's all paid for. Just tell him I sent you. After that, meet us at the apartment. It's in Sand Island. 
The building across from the distillery. Apartment 233. Okay, apartment 233. Got it. I'll meet you fellas there in a bit. All right, I'll see you later. Good luck, pal. I see you around. What's your pleasure? Is that all you need? That should work for you. That should work for you. That should work for you. You need anything else, you come back. I'll take care of it.
Henry Tomasino sent me to pick up the stuff he ordered. Come on in. Hello? So, uh, you're the guy Henry was telling me about, huh? Yeah. You got his merchandise. <laughs> yeah, well, here it is. MG-42, made in Germany. Hitler's buzzsaw, we call them. She's a beauty. 25 pounds. 7.92 caliber. 1,200 rounds per minute. Fastest in the world. 250 round belt. Three quarters of a mile effective range and extremely reliable. I don't know what the hell you're hunting, but unless it's in a fucking tank, sayonara, baby. Hey. You need me to show you how to use it? No, thanks. I'm familiar with him. I was in the service, too. No shit! Wait, wait are you kidding me? Where, where were you? What was it, Normandy, huh? No, no, Africa? All right, let me guess. Uh, Operation Husky. Yeah? What unit were you in? 504th Parachute. No shit, you were a paratrooper? And that was kind of hairy, I heard. Yeah, well, it wasn't no picnic, I tell you. I got hit, so they sent me home. Yeah, any medals? Yeah, Purple Heart and a DSC. Whoa, wait, wait, you got a cross? Let me tell you, they don't give those babies out for nothing. I was in Normandy. We hit Utah Beach. Yeah, that wasn't no picnic neither, but... When I was crawling over the fence on the way back, I, I poked my eye out on a fucking tree branch. <laughs> well, hey, it was good enough for a discharge. Uh, look, guy, I, I really gotta get going. All right. Hey, by the way... I'm Harry. Hey, Vito. Hey, good to meet you, Vito. Real good. If you ever need some hardware, you know where to find me. Yeah. There you go. I hope you drove here. She's a big girl. <laughs> good luck. Hey, thanks. Nice to meet you, Harry. The gun's in the crate, and there's a couple thousand rounds in the van out in the yard. Take it. It's all paid for. See you around, Vito.
Where are you from, Henry? Sicily. What brought you to the States? Mussolini. Uh, we buy you a ticket. Don't be a smart ass, Joe. My father was a... Uh, a man of honor. Uh, things got pretty bad for us after Mussolini came into power. My old man figured I'd either get drafted or locked up, so... He sent me to America and got me a job working for Clementi. So what happened to your father? He said he was too old to make the trip. Mussolini had him arrested and he died in jail. They won't even turn his body over for a proper burial. <sighs> That's rough. So how's your English so good? They're coming. Those black cars. Vito, aim for the fat bastard. We gotta nail him before he gets in the building. Get ready. All right, I'm on it. They got All guns. All right, showtime. They got guns up there in that window. That's him, Vito. Waste that fat fuck. We got them all! Stop shooting that fucking thing! I'm going deaf over here! I'm going in! I won't want to get on your bad side! I'll cover you moving! Right, on, Move it, Vito! We can't let that fat bastard get away. Okay, you first, Vito. You're the fucking war hero. Go, go, we'll We're copy. coming for you, Porky! I'm going in! Back me up, Vito! Now this whole fucking place is gonna burn to the ground. What a waste of booze. Sister. Oh God! Oh God, no! All right, Vito, here we go. I won't want to get on your bad side. Vito. What the hell are you doing, Joe? What? Thirsty. Pretty good stuff. You should try it. 
Drinking on a job, huh? When'd you turn Irish? Here they come! Shit, Going they in. got commies! Take the boss upstairs! Shit, there's an army of them! Vito, Joe, do something! We can't just fucking sit here! Oh, what the fuck do you expect me to do? They're shooting at me, for Christ's sakes! Vito, do something! You're the expert here! Alright, showtime, Vito! Are you shit, boy? Is that the fucking best you got? Oh, you're in trouble! Come on, Porky's upstairs. Sends his regards. Oh, fuck! <laughs> oh, fuck you! Oh, sorry, you. <clears throat> Henry, you okay? Hey. Where'd he hit you? Of course I'm not fucking okay. He shot me in the fucking leg. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, it's bleeding all Son over the place. Son of a... Get me to El Greco. The fucking painter? No, the fucking doctor, okay, okay, you idiot. Take it easy. We're gonna get you there in a minute. The Greek guy lives up in Highbrook. Right, let's get you to the oh, car. Oh, Maron, <sighs> you're heavier than you look. That fuck. I almost shot my balls off. Take it easy. You missed him by a mile. Hey, careful! This fucking hurts. Yeah, well, you can walk if you don't no, quit your moaning. No, please. I don't want to die. Hey, you're right. I don't need to get pissy. I'm the one bleeding at that here. Oh! Fuck. Let's go. Ah, this whole fucking place is coming apart. Cover us. Cover us from that, are you scared? God damn it, I know it. This is my 13th contract. It's a fucking Gotta chance. hurry. What do Fire you mean, you lucky bastard? Don't go saying that, pal. It's just a scratch. The doc will give you a few stitches, and then we'll all go out and celebrate. No, really. Shh. You shouldn't talk right now. Helps conserve your strength. I seen that in a movie once. Yeah? And what happened to the guy in the movie? He died. Nah.
Jesus, you drive like my fucking grandmother. In pursuit of our suspect, we're taking him down. Roger that. Vito, come on. Can't this thing go any faster? I'm going as fast as I can, damn it. Well, it ain't fast enough. Just relax, would you? I got a hole in my leg the size of a fucking golf ball, and you're telling me to relax? Just get me to El Greco, damn it. So, fellas, who is this guy? What guy? This guy we're taking Henry to. El Greco? He's a doctor. Throw him a couple of bucks, he patches you up. No questions asked. He's the guy you go see when you can't go to the hospital, genius. Why the hell wouldn't you be able to go to the hospital? Because you go to the hospital with a bullet in you, first thing they do is call the cops. Yeah. So El Greco deals with a lot of guys in our line of work. You shouldn't need to visit him, though, Vito. You've always <clears throat> been a quick healer. Must be your diet. Hey, Vito, step on it. Henry's sweating like a whore in church back here. You know what would make me drive faster? You start as it. Hey, Henry, <coughs> you awake? Stay with me now. Yeah. Just hang in there, pal. We'll be at El Greco's in a minute. I can smell the souvlaki from here. Come on, Vito. At this rate, we get there fast if we walk. Vito, there. That house. Park right in front. You all Greco the doctor? No. I'm the fucking painter. A friend needs help, or he's gonna bleed to death. Thanks, Doc. Good God, hand him. you one. Get him inside. Hello, though. Wait. I got money for you. For the job. Take it. You know this could have waited. But thanks. And hey, thanks for everything. I hope you'll be okay. Yeah. Me too. I'll stay here with him. Meet me at my place. <clears throat> All right.
Vito, hey, how you doing? Shh, no, 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 no. I just wanted to give you the money to pay off Papa's debt. Oh, Vito, that's great. I was gonna try and see if we could pay it back in installments. I got a little money. He wouldn't have hurt us. Don't be so sure, but it doesn't matter now. Here, take Where'd it. you get all this money, Vito? You haven't done nothing you'll be sorry for, hey, have don't you? don't worry. Everything's fine. Thank you, Vito. Thank no you. No problem. All right, look, I better be going. I, I don't want Ma to see me. She'll be asking where I got the money, too. Don't worry. I'll make something up. All right. Give her a big kiss for I me, will. okay? Take care of yourself, Vito. Vito Scaletta? Yeah? What's it to you? You're under arrest for the illegal distribution of federal ration stamps. You're coming with us. One of the gas station attendants ratted me out. The guy fingered me and they strung our mama into telling them where I was staying. But they had no idea who I was working for and I wasn't about to tell them. Henry was able to get me a lawyer, courtesy of his boss, Clementi. I was up Shit's Creek, but at least I had a battle. Could have been a hell of a lot worse if the Feds knew about and any of my other crime activities. I find to be even more serious, considering the fact that you stole national resources at a time when our country needs them the most. An act the gravity of which you, Mr. Scaletta... The guy was good, but even he couldn't get me yourself. out of this one. Should it was a lost cause from day one. Three months later... They handed down the verdict. Vittorio Antonio Scaletta, for your crimes against the people of this city and of this great country, this court hereby sentences you to 10 years in a federal penitentiary. Murderers, child molesters, they were all here. On, the worst of the worst. All right, get in line, gentlemen. Follow me, single file. And no monkey business, or else.
Let's go, assholes! You want to make problems, you son of a bitch? I, I'm sorry. What's the matter? I no can't. speaking to English? Here, let me teach you. What, do you enjoy this, you sick fuck? Now, get your ass up and get no, back please. in line. No. Move. Hey, smartass, don't make me repeat myself. Back in line. Move it! Stop right there. Turn to your right. Your other right. Listen up, assholes. My name is Captain Terrence Stone and this is my prison. You're here on the inside because you can't behave like normal human beings on the outside. Make no mistake. Your ass belongs to me now, and you'll do what I say, or you'll be sorry that you didn't! Fuck with me, and I'll fuck with your sorry ass all day long! You were sent here to be rehabilitated, and rehabilitate you? We will. Okay, you assholes. We're gonna cut you loose. Just long enough to get you cleaned up. Now get in line and follow me. Welcome to the salon, ladies. You're gonna look just fucking beautiful. Hey, me too? I ain't got nothing on my head to cut. Shut your face, cue ball. Okay, let's go. Hey, shit for brains. Do what you're fucking told. Listen, pretty boy. If you ain't gonna do what you're told, we're gonna stick you in the hole. Follow me. Smell you, new fish. Welcome you home. Good. Get in. Lights out! And be quiet, assholes! If you know what's good for you. This was gonna be my new home for the next ten years. Look like shit and smell like piss. I would have preferred dodging bullets in Europe to this. After three action-packed days of staring at the wall, I got a message from Joe to contact a guy named Leo Galante, who could supposedly help me out in here. This wasn't the kind of place where you could survive on your own. I'm looking for Leo Galante. Hey, buddy. Beat it. Hey. I need to talk to Leo Galante. Point him out, will you? <laughs> Get out of here before you make me mad. Hey. I need to talk to Leo Galante. Point him out, will you? Buzz off, asshole. Five years and almost two months. How long for you? They should let me out next summer. Lucky bastard. Excuse me, you know where Leo Galante is? Get out of my face! Don't listen to these motherfuckers! You go do it! Uh, hey, um, uh, I'm looking for, uh, Leo Galante. You know where I can find him? I never heard of the name before in my life. The war is just... You teach me You teach you, game lady. You give him the deal, motherfucker. I know you. 
You're that fucking guinea who was with Barbara in the jewelry store. I'm in this fucking hellhole cause of you. You got locked up cause you're a stupid crazy fuck. <laughs> you know, fellas, my mom was right. There is a god! <laughs> and he sent you here, you guinea bastard. So that I could pay you back! This looks interesting. Wanna make a small bet? I'm gonna break you, Dago! fucking brain! Come on, you overgrown yeah, retard. Kick his fucking Dago ass! You and your boyfriend Barbaro are dead! Step back! Okay, Did you hear me? Enough. Break it Get out of here! Both of you are going to the hole! We're gonna give you a little time to think about what you've done. Close it up. So O'Neill almost took my head off, but I made a stand. And let me tell you something, when you're inside, it counts for a lot more than you might think. How long are you planning on keeping him in here? Long enough to learn his lesson. That's gonna have to change. He in any shape to fight. Should be. Boys didn't knock him around too bad after the brawl in the yard. All right, open it up. Rise and shine, Scaletta. You got yourself a visitor. My name is Leo Galante. I heard you wanted to speak to me. Yeah. Uh, one of Clemente's guys said I should contact you. Said maybe you could help me out. Oh, fuck Clemente. I don't provide protection for his guys in here. But I saw how you handled that Mick who's after you, O'Neill. He could prove useful. Come with me, boy. Now listen up, fellas. This is Vito. He's gonna be helping us out. Peppy here's got a big fight coming up. Against O'Neill. He needs a sparring partner. And from what I saw of you out there in the yard, you're just the man for the job. You're gonna help us out, kid. In return, you'll be under my protection. And who knows, maybe you'll even learn a thing or two along the way. I guess I can't say no to that offer, huh? I don't remember asking. All right, fellas. Let's get this show on the road. Okay. Today we're gonna work on your counterpunching. Rito, I want you to hit Pepe. Try and bust that big jaw of his. Pepe, you avoid the punch like I showed you. Then use that momentum to throw a punch of your own. All right, fellas. Let's get going. What, are you tired already? Atta boy, Pepe. Keep that oversized chin of yours down, damn it. Footwork, Peppy. Remember your footwork. Oh. It's good. Whoa! Would you look at that? Hey! We supposed to be sparring or training? Change of plans, big fella. This kid's got fire in him. So now you're both gonna practice your counter punches. All right, Vito. See if you can do that again. It's a handy tool to have in the box, huh? Most guys ain't gonna see it coming. Peppy here. <laughs> he ain't most guys, though. Nice, kid. Nice. nice Give me two more of oh, All right, one more shit. of you. Shit, that had to hurt. Oh, there you go. You're a fast learner, kid. All right, fellas, that's enough for today. Nice work. So, how close did you get to Clemente, Vito? Actually, I never met him. I always dealt with either Henry Tomasino or Luca Garino. Huh. I can't believe that cocksucker Garino's still breathing. What was your deal with him? Well, you know, we did a couple jobs for him, and, uh... Luca said he'd bring us into the family for, uh, five grand. What? 
Typical fucking Alberto. He's always been a crooked bastard. Uh, so what is that, like more than usual? Yeah, like five grand more than usual. You don't gotta pay to get in, Vito. You're brought into the family once you prove that you're loyal, a good earner. And he can handle, well, you know, the life. In any case, this is an interesting piece of news. When this gets out, Alberto and Luca are gonna have a lot of explaining to do. To who? Jeez. Don't worry about that. We'll talk about it some other time. Hey, how's it going? How you doing, Vito? Come Name's on, Sal. Give me another twenty. Hey, nice work in the ring. Hey, how you doing? Name's Vito. Yeah, I know. Name's hey, Al. Good to meet you. Winston's offering two to one against Pepe. Pepe wasn't a friend of mine, I'd take that bet. O'Neill's a fucking animal. Come on, give me nice another Nice work 20. in the ring, buddy. A little more of that and you'll be ready for a real fight. Hell of a job with that asshole O'Neill. Nice. Next time, do us all a favor and snap the prick's neck, would you? How's old man Galanti know so much about boxing? Never know by looking at him now, but he was a prize hey, fighter back in the day. Name's Vito. Damn good Sam, one too. how you doing? No shit. Yeah, heard he used to fight in bare knuckle matches before he went. Watch where you walk, Guaylo. Maybe if your eyes were all the way open, you would have seen me coming, asshole. Galante, crooked white devil. Nice to see you too, Mr. Wu. Crooked? You bet on your own guy and he lost. That's the way it works in this country. Then Wu offer you rematch. I think I can arrange that. You up to it, Vito? Chinaman, huh? Yeah, get him a stepladder and send them over. All right, Wu. Looks like you got yourself a rematch. And none of that chop suey crap this time. Now listen, these chinks are quick little bastards. No point in throwing big punches early on. You'll never connect. All right. What am I supposed to do then? You hit him quick and tire him out. When he's weak, he'll put his guard down. Then you swing for the fences. Now get out there and show him what you're made of. Hey, does Vito get a fortune cookie after eating your guy for breakfast? <laughs> ah! Ah! ah, I need to learn that style. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh. Shut up, study more. Daddy, she's a grand his master will not be happy. Oh. Ah. Ayah, this no happen if you use tiger style. Let's go, Scaletta. You're late for work. Hey, listen, Vito here's got the day off, courtesy of Mr. Galante. Gotcha. Don't get used to it, Scalata. All right. Come with me, Vito. What, are we gonna train some more? Uh, sorta. You'll see. Morning, kid. Morning, Mr. Galante. 
Want no training today? Not exactly. We got a challenge from the spooks, and I don't want to risk Peppy getting all banged up before his big fight with O'Neill. So I want you to take this one. It'll be good practice for you. Come on. Now, the guy you're going to be fighting is a strong bastard, but he ain't too bright. Fights with his heart, not his head. You piss him off, you lower his guard. That's when you let him have it. All right, here we go. Make me proud, kid. Ooh, looky here. I'ma take this skinny-ass white boy to school. Gonna hit him so hard his mama's mama gonna feel it. Hope you meatballs getting ready to lose. <clears throat> yeah, that's the way to do it, my brother. Hey, win or lose, it'll probably be the hardest work this <clears throat> bomb ever did in his life. Your little cracker going down. Ah. <clears throat> Let's go, Vito. Put these bums back in their place. <clears throat> Come on, Vito. You gotta do better than that. <clears throat> oh, this boy got as much chance of winning as a brother running for president. Oh. Don't worry, Vito. You got him right where you want. <sighs> Oh, come on, my grandmama hit me hotter than that. Hope you meatballs getting ready to lose. <clears throat> now, ah! grab him and finish him off. Oh. All right, kid. Now put his lights out. Ah. Your little cracker going. Hell of a job, kid. Hell of a job. Here's your cut, Vito. You earned it. Yo, one of the hacks is coming. What the hell is this? Some kind of circle jerk? All right, come on, Scaletta. You got a visitor. Hi, Vito. Hey, Frankie. How you doing? I'm doing good. Real good. Thanks. So, uh, how's things? Well, I, I got something to tell you. I'm getting married, Vito. Oh, Maron, that's great. I mean, it would have been nice if he asked my permission first, but... Hey, I'm happy for you. Vito, you're in jail. Look at yourself. How'd you let this happen? Hey, I already got a lecture from the judge, huh? I don't need another one. Just... Just drop it, alright? Vito, there's something else. It's Mama. What do you mean? What about her? She's sick, Vito. She's been like this for weeks, and she's not getting any better. Look, Frankie. Go to Joe's. He's holding on to my money for me. You get her the best doctor you can find. And, uh... You keep the rest as a wedding gift. Vito... No, no, I mean it. Looks like I'm not gonna need it for a while. Alright, looks like I gotta go. Uh, look, you take care of Ma. Tell her I love her. I will. And thanks, Vito. Bye. Let's go, Scaletta. Those turlets ain't gonna clean themselves. So, you're the new cleaning lady, huh? Follow me. Hey, pal, you mind? Yo, practice that shit someplace else. Come on, man, you're killing us. Jesus, your singing is the second worst thing that happened to me in here. There you go. Make them sparkle. And hey, hurry it up. Pipe down now. Alias! Relax, fellas. I'm just giving the old pipes a workout. Any more of that shit, and I'm gonna give your face a workout, you dig? All right, all right, jeez. You guys got no culture.
What's the matter? Keep cleaning, or else. Hey, looks like this one's still dirty. Clean it again. All right, that's enough. Now you're gonna go join the rest of the animals in the showers. All right, get Stiletta, me. get your clothes off and get cleaned up, would you kindly? What's the hold up here? Move your asses. Hey, Frankie. We got a little business to take care of here, huh? Why don't you go have a smoke? <laughs> yeah, sure. Have your fun, you sick bastards. Mm, I like your scars, pretty boy. Where'd you get them? Sorry, asshole. You picked the wrong ass to drill. We can do this the easy way, or the hard way. Your choice. I got a better idea. Why don't you go fuck your buddies instead? Or better yet, go fuck yourself. Okay. I guess you want it rough. <laughs> it's party time. <sighs> Do that again, sweet cheeks. It's turning me on. Hurry it up, John. We ain't got long. <clears throat> this could have been so much. Ah! Fuck, this guy's a <clears throat> fighter, huh? Him out. I want to hear him scream. What's going on? And where's Frank? Gone, boy. You know the drill. Oh, and uh, this came today. Might want to read it. Looks important. Mama died while Francesca was visiting me. Instead of going toward a good doctor and a wedding gift, every penny I had went to the funeral. Mr. Galante wants to talk to you. Come with me. Good to have you back, kid. What the hell happened? It looks like the mix weren't up for a fair fight. A couple of them jumped Pepe yesterday. It was a lot more than a couple. Yeah, well, we sure as hell ain't gonna let this go. What do you got in mind? 
Pepe's got it all worked out. Took a little persuading, but O'Neill's all by himself right now in the gym. Guards won't be back for a while. You're just gonna give him a good beating, break a couple of bones, same as they did to me. Got it? Yeah, I got it. All right, come with me. Break a leg, kid. I'll wait out here. If the guards get back early, I'll warn you. Okay. All right, go for it. Hey, O'Neill. I got a little business to settle with you. Just the man I wanted to see. Come here, Mary! I don't think so. Again, harder! No. Try again, little man. Oh, this time I'll finish you. <laughs> Had enough? Get up, I'm not done with- ah. Nice shot, Mary. Ah. Oh. I'm not gonna be so <sighs> gentle this time. <laughs> oh. ah. Me ma used to hit harder than- ah. Is that all you've got? Jesus, what the fuck are you made of? Oh, you'll have to do better than that, little girl! It all worked out just fine. They never found out who did it. Leo arranged for me to relocate to his cell. Well, actually, it was more like a suite. Life was getting better by the minute. So, Vito, what do you plan on doing when you get out of this shithole? I don't know. I sure as hell ain't gonna go back to work on Fla Clemente, I can tell you that. Yeah, you're better off just forgetting about that old bastard. Trust me, Alberto's a real cocksucker. And you can bet that lawyer he's hired was just there to make sure you didn't rot. But don't worry. You'll get his. Letting guys into your family for money like he offered you is against the rules. He's gonna have a lot of explaining to do. To who? I thought Clemente was the boss. You obviously don't know how things work around here. You see, there's more than one family in Empire Bay. There's three. Each family controls their own neighborhoods. There's a system of rules. And if there's any disagreements, the bosses of all the families meet to work things out. That's the commission. Great, so what do I do now? Am I in trouble too? No, 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 no. nothing like that. You're young, you're smart, and you've proven you can keep your mouth shut. You're exactly the type of guy everybody wants working for him. Yeah, but I don't even know who these other guys are. There's two other bosses besides Clemente. One is Carlo Falcone. The other is Frank Vinci. Carlo is young and ambitious. The guy's a freaking nut job. He's new blood. Whereas Don Vinci is a man of honor. He respects the old ways. You know these guys? <laughs> you could say that. And Frank Vinci is consigliere. You think being just a regular old man gets you all this? But listen, Vito. I'm getting out in a few months. When I do, you'll see what we can do about adjusting your sentence. Pepe, come here. Have a taste.
Galante wasn't lying. He called in a few favors and arranged for me to get out early. Knocked almost four years off my sentence. Now, Joe used to come visit me and, you know, kind of fill me in on what was happening on the outside. But I tell you, as soon as I walked out of that prison gate, it was like a whole new world. Hey, you break out of jail? Ah, jeez, good to see you in regular clothes and on the right side of the bars again. Welcome home. Come on in, come in, come in. Man, I tell you, lots changed since I went away. Yeah, I guess it has. And hey, it ain't much, but I hooked you up with a nice little apartment, just like you Thanks. said. Now I got a surprise for you. We're going out tonight to celebrate, and I'm going to introduce you to somebody. Yeah, sounds good to me. You're going to need a little cash so you can get things going again. I got a piece for you, too, if you want it. Ah, here. Always comes in handy. So, uh, what do you want to do now that you're a free man? Hey, what do you think? I want to go back to working with you again. All right. I was worried they might have turned you straight nah. in there. <laughs> I actually met a lot of people and learned a lot while I was on the inside. I had a much better idea of how things work now. Good thing, because I wasn't exactly sitting around on my ass while you was in there. Don't worry, though. I'll show you the ropes, like always. All right. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Jesus, I didn't expect you to be raring to go like this, but what the hell? Come on, let's go see your new place. We'll take my car and go meet your new landlord. You do the driving so as you can get back into the swing of things. Just hope you didn't forget how to drive while you was in the can. Hey, what are you worried about? It's like riding a bicycle. Sure, but when you smack up your bicycle, it don't cost a fortune to fix the friggin' thing. All right, all right, I get it. You're like an old lady. Yeah, I sure as hell hope so. And if you ain't noticed, cars are a lot different since you went away. You'll see. Your new place is just down the street, right near the boardwalk. You're gonna love it. Good to have you home. I'd done pretty good while you was locked up, but now that you're out, the sky's the limit. You seen Henry lately? Nah, not for a few years now. He really felt bad about what happened, you know. So what you been up to? We couldn't really talk about much when you visited me. Well, after the shit Clemente and that little asshole Luca tried to pull on us, I got hooked up with the Falcone family and I started working for them. Really? Yeah, you'll see tonight. I told you, I got a nice surprise plan for you. But don't bother asking, because I ain't gonna tell you. Oh, boy. Don't worry. I've been planning this for weeks. That's what I'm afraid of. What do you got, an aversion to red lights? This is close enough. Park here. Go check the place out. It's on the top floor. I already paid the first month's rent for you. And hey, the entrance to your garage is on that side street over there. Thanks, Joe. I appreciate it. Hey, and about tonight, we're going to a real classy joint. So buy yourself a nice suit. They won't let you in this place look like an ex-con.
Okay, here we are. I'm sure you'll find it to your liking. I live in a similar apartment myself. As you can see, it even comes with a telephone at no extra charge. And here's the bathroom, clean and modern, with all the hot water you could ever want. And here is the master bedroom, and there is the master's bed. It's comfy, with room enough for two, maybe three. And it doesn't squeak, always a plus in my book. I sure hope you like your new apartment, sir. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Just one question. When are you leaving? Now, if you'll pardon me, I have to go and check out another client. Goodbye now. Yeah, see ya. Geez, I thought you was gonna be a no-show. Not bad, nice material. Thanks. So, uh, what's the plan for tonight? You'll find out. A friend of mine's coming to pick us up. I met him when you was on your little vacation. And show him some respect. He's kind of an important guy. Oh, yeah? You'll see in a minute. Here he comes. Hey, Joe. Hey, Eddie. Here I How's am. it going? Eh, not too bad, not too bad. Oh, this your buddy? Yeah, this is my pal Vito. Vito, this here is a good friend of mine, Eddie Scarpa. Nice to meet you, Eddie. Same here, Vito. Okay, fellas, I'm dying for a drink. Let's go. Hey, Vito, you want to drive? I had a couple of drinks already. So, uh, you tell him where we're headed, Joey? Nope. All he knows is that it's a surprise. <laughs> uh, he's gonna love it. I fucking hope so. Unless he got into the, uh... Funny business in the can. Hey, what are you two talking about? <laughs> Don't worry about it. You'll see. Hey, come on. We might as well tell him now. Hey, you waited this long. We'll tell him in the car.
All right. Let's go, Vito. Hey, you know, it would help if you told me where we're going. Head to Oyster Bay. Okay, so Vito, what was the one thing you missed the most when you was in a camp? Freedom. Yeah, well, but besides that. Nah, you know, uh, booze, broads, baseball, everything. Now you're getting closer. <laughs> what are you guys taking me to a baseball game? No, oh, we're taking you to the classiest cat house in the city, Vito. Cat house, huh? Wow. Well, you don't sound too excited, Vito. Come on, don't tell me you don't want to have some fun after all that time. Hey, don't worry, Vito. These girls are real professionals. If you forgot how to do it, they'll get you back in shape in no time. <laughs> <laughs> if we're gonna have a ball... <laughs> oh, hey, uh, remind me not to drink too much. There's something I gotta take care of later. What's more important than pussy and booze? Ah, uh, you know how it is. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Hey, Vito, come on, step on it, eh? Hey, you just went through a red light. So I talked to Leo Galanti about you, Vito. He said you were a real stand-up guy, and he told me all about the shit that Clementi tried to pull on you guys. But between you and me, why'd you get into that line of work? I mean, we all got our re reasons. Well, uh... Yeah, yeah. Uh, because, uh, mm -hmm. you know, I don't, I don't want to end up like my old man, and, uh... Oh, no! Yeah. Look, I figure nobody's gonna help me, so I gotta help myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you do. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, scram, baby. So, Vito, listen. I work for Carlo Falcone, and uh, we're looking to expand our operation. Joe's been working for us for a while now, and uh, since you're a friend of his, we'd like to extend that offer to you as well. What do you say? Yeah, sure, I'm interested. All right, let's drink to it. Here's to you guys. You're right. And to a bright future together. Touch and die. I can't be drinking too much tonight. Uh, I got some business to take care of. Carlo's a real smart guy. <laughs> He's into, uh, uh, you know, uh, astrology. You mean astronomy. Uh, fuck you, you fucking cum dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, ladies. Looks like I gotta get going. You shut your goddamn pie hole. If you wanna oh. use your mouth. You fellas ready to go? Uh, uh, no. Yeah, let's uh. go. Hey, get up, Joe! Hey, I'm going home. Good night, you whores! Hey, where the hell is my car? Uh, somebody stole it! Hey, hey, call the fucking cops, man. You're staring at it, you lush. Huh? Oh, oh yeah, good. <laughs> 
Hey, where's my keys? Vito's gonna drive. He's the least fucked up out of all us. Yeah! Next time for us, Joe. More pussy, less poos. <laughs> okay, fellas. So, how'd you like the place, Vito? A lot better than playing I just uh, Zeech in the showers, huh? <laughs> <sighs> what the hell's that stink? Eddie, you puke? What? I wouldn't puke in my own car. What the... What the hell is that smell then? Oh, yeah, I'm smelling it too. Must be Frankie Potts. What? That asshole puked in your car? Ah, oh, nah, he's in a trunk. What? What? Hey, it's all your fault, Joey. I told you I had some fucking business to take care of, and you went and got me drunk. Hey, since when does business to take care of mean dead guy in the trunk? Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, calm down, Vito. Hey, I spat you. We'll figure something out. Watch the figure. All we gotta do is bury the stiff. I already got his spot picked out. Up by the old observatory. <sighs> you got a shovel? Sure, it's in the trunk. And the hole is already dug. All we need to do is chuck him in and cover him up. All right, all right. Where's this hole? <laughs> a little ways outside of town, there's a path in the forest to a small clearing. That's where the hole is. And hurry it up, will ya? God, I need some fresh air. The stench back here is fucking killing me. Stop. Now, I'm gonna hurl. Uh, too late, Vin- <laughs> Ah, Christ, Eddie. That, that fucking reeks. Oh, hey, it's his car. Yeah, but that smell, plus the other smell. The only way it could get worse now is if he craps himself. All right, we're here. <clears throat> Vito, go pop the trunk. Is that a joke? <clears throat> That's great. That's just great. Yeah. Uh... <clears throat> God damn it, no shoes. Oh, hey, Jesus oh. Christ. <clears throat> Oh, fucking Christ almighty! How long this guy been in here, Eddie? 
Uh, just a couple days. You're gonna have to get him out of there, Vito. Oh, it's just great. I can't handle the smell. Some fucking welcome home this is. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> hey, mother. Hey, hey, here's a hole. Right here. Dump him in. Finally, done. <sighs> okay, now who's gonna bury him? What? I, I give me a minute to get a hold of myself. Can you just do it? Every time I get a whiff of the guy, it makes me have to puke. And Eddie's not gonna be any oh, help here. Fine, whatever. Hey, fellas. How about a little music, eh? You gotta be kidding me. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to This wasn't supposed to be part of your homecoming party, but it's nice out here, ain't it? I ain't been in the woods for a while. Yeah, you won't be liking it so damn much after I smack you with this shovel. Sorry, Vito. Not exactly the best way to end the night, huh? But thanks. I owe you one big time. Leave Eddie's car <laughs> here so he can get home in the morning. You're a good man, Vito. I'll settle up with you tomorrow. Hey, you coming in for some drinks? It's three in the morning. Shut the hell up. Hey, shut up, you whore! Come on! We'll yeah, enough, some Eddie. Girls. You're going to bed. Come on. <laughs> I'll call you tomorrow, Vito. Good night. <laughs> 